Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a build that's lodged itself in the PvP meta, despite being nerfed. Of course, I'm talking about Fists, and more specifically, the Star Fist. With the Star Fist and Storm Stomp combined, you get a build that can handle Power Stand Straight Swords to a certain extent, and anything that's off meta. What makes it interesting is that Fists were nerfed this patch to reduce their damage level of their attacks, specifically the Heavy Attack. Now, the Heavy Attack on Fists are still very good, however, Fists have other strengths, one of those being that the Running Light Attack is unreactable, and so is the R2, actually, assuming you don't charge it. This means that it has two unreactable attacks, both which do very good damage, and the R2 combos with Storm Stomp. This makes it a very deadly combination, a weapon that can melt players who aren't careful. But this weapon isn't just good in PvP. In fact, it is another meta-defining weapon in PvE, being used almost exclusively in challenge runs like the no damage run or rune level 1 runs, because it can stagger bosses very easily. Its uncharged heavy attack, again, does a lot of poise damage. In PvE, it does 12 poise damage, and when you charge it, it does 33. That's only 7 less poise than a pre-nerf Flame of the Red Mains. It's also a lot faster and doesn't require FP. With the poise damage being so high, you can essentially script boss fights, which is pretty impressive. And so, this build that I'm about to show you is optimized for PvP, however, it still holds very well in PvE and is nearly optimal in PvE as well. So let's talk a little bit more about the PvP aspect first, shall we? The Starfists have a non-reactable running light attack, as I've said, and you mainly want to use this as your main offensive, and you want to use Storm Stomp or the heavy attack to combo in and shut down aggression from the other player. You can do this by using Storm Stomp, since it stuns 100 poise and under, and the R2 is a guaranteed poise break no matter what. My build is very simple. It's optimized for the PvP meta level of 125, and you just have 60 vigor to reach vigor soft cap. You have 20 endurance to not fat roll while still getting 101 poise, and you have 80 strength, which is the strength soft cap. That's it. That's all you need to invest into. Of course, we're going to use the Star Fist with the Heavy Affinity, and we're going to have Storm Stomp on it, because that really makes this build insane in PvP. For the armor, we have the Crucible Axe Helm, the Tree Sentinel Armor, Blides Gauntlets, and Tree Sentinel Greaves. That's going to give us 105 poise, which is above the 104 poise breakpoint. However, we had points left over, and so we can invest into heavier armor. For the talismans, we have Bull Goat's Talisman, which reduces our incoming poise damage that we take. We have the Crimson Amber Medallion and Erdtree's Favor, boosting our health. And then the Erdtree's Favor is also going to boost equip load and stamina. And the final talisman slot is up for debate. You could use the Godsin Swaddling Cloth, as I have. You could also use the Rotten Wing Sword Insignia to boost your damage. Either way, excellent choices. For the Great Rune, we have Radon's Great Rune, although it isn't relevant in PvP, it is relevant in PvE. And that's going to boost our HP, FP, and Stamina. For the Crystal Tier, we have Appliant Hard Tier and Thorny Crack Tier. Again, not relevant in PvP since your Flask Runner's Physic is disabled in Arena. But we have Appliant Hard Tier for PvE to increase our damage negation. And we have the Thorny Crack Tier to increase our consecutive hit damage. Overall, this build is really easy to play, and it's about as good as Power Stance Great Spears, which is one of the top meta weapons. And the best part is, you don't need to know any tech like wave dashing to utilize it. 